Thank you, Honorable Senator. First of all, I join... Uh, is it on the issue of... Uh, no, it's Senator a separate Osoro. issue. It's, it's, it's on the issue of Senator, um, of uh, Honorable Osoro? I, I want to go on record, Mr. Speaker, supporting to the positions taken by the two senators. But I wanted to, uh, with your very great indulgence, Mr. Speaker, because uh, one of the parties has asked us to make a decision on a matter. I was hoping, Mr. Speaker, I could find some clarification on the understanding of uh, the rules of the procedure uh, for this particular process. Mr. Speaker, allow me to uh, find out from the advocate for the uh, govern deputy governor whether in their understanding there is a distinction between evidence and an allegation. Because my understanding of the standing orders, at least as I have read them, is that for as long as there is evidence supporting an allegation that was present in the county assembly. And I'll give a very specific example. If you're being accused of, say, corruption, is it possible that if there are 10 pieces of evidence and seven are used in the county assembly, is it possible or is it their position that the remaining three pieces of evidence supporting the same allegation that was present in the county assembly cannot be presented before the Senate. That is the question I want them to answer for me as I ponder what to do with their objection. And number two, whether it is their understanding that a public participation is an evidence collection forum. Because in my view, Mr. Speaker, when you go for public participation, you are presenting the case against the Deputy Governor as framed in the County Assembly for the public to uh, engage with that case. So that if I'm being accused of corruption, and that is what goes to public participation, is it possible that other people upon hearing those allegations might also say, I was also a victim? And then what in their understanding are we supposed to do with that material? I thank you, Mr. Speaker. Council. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, sir, and honorable members. Um, our emphasis on the Rule 20 is that it prohibits both new evidence and new allegation. Now, on the face of that, on the face of that rule, it's not very clear indeed, and that is an issue I've belabored, whether the intention is that evidence that supports an already existing count is tenable. However, the words used are assembly is prohibited from introducing new evidence that was not part of the allegations. So that if there is an allegation already in place and evidence was already adduced to support that allegation, you cannot bring new evidence in addition to what was confessed at the assembly. That's my understanding. I can see you disagree with me, Honorable Sifuna, but that, that, that is my understanding of it, that it is cast in stone what was done at the assembly to the extent of the material in support of those counts is what should be brought here. Because then the, the, the inverse argument, uh, Honorable Members. Councillor, I think you've made your point. Yes, and you've then there was a point. second limb of what he was asking, uh, what becomes of public participation. Um, Public participation in itself is a wild animal. You, you wouldn't know what will come from public participation. But it is my position that if in the public participation somebody were to say that indeed I have been a victim of corruptions, uh, a victim of corruption from the same person who is facing uh, an impeachment, that is a standalone case that should go back to the assembly. It cannot be a basis of a case before the Senate, because then you will be placing the subject of the impeachment in a situation where he has no chance of responding to the new allegation brought in through the public participation. So if the evidence, for instance, collected from the public participation were to say I was present when the MPSA was being sent to Lucy Wahito, or I was present when uh, Dennis was B was paying the price, then that, that in a way probably you could, uh, you could almost accommodate. But when he says, I, was also, I also was asked for a bribe, then that's a new case we should go through the whole process of impeachment right from the point of the motion to the point of, sorry, from the point of notice to point of motion and so on and so forth. Uh, that is my answer, Honorable Speaker. 
Senator Roba. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I just want to